Welcome back to another video from Joe's Coral Reef Delivery Day. Four months I waited for this thing. Four months. It was a euphoric delivery. It was finally here after all this time. I got the sump on top, the tank on the bottom. Only took a few days to get from Toronto to me. The sump is 24, or a, sorry, 36 by 24 by 20 high. I want to do the Triton method. So the refugium is over 30% of the volume of the main display. It's really large. And then I actually have it so it's refugium, skimmer, return. But, you know, I had a lot of concerns. I don't often design a lot of sumps. Was the height from the refugium to the skimmer section going to be too much? Was I going to get a lot of water noise? Did I leave enough room in there to get all my equipment? I mean, I used SketchUp. I measured it. I did all the design work. But... Sometimes there's these things you just don't know until you start putting the thing together. And you're like, oh man. So the sump was about $400. Not bad. It's half inch glass, black silicone. It's got pl a plastic trim on the bottom. It's got all the baffles. I will modify it. I put another glass panel on top that I screw all the bulkheads into and then I made PVC lids for the thing. It looks really nice. But then I start to have some issues. I start to look at some of the seams as I'm taking this thing apart. I'm like, what the heck? But in glass, it looks really. I mean, over acrylic, I know acrylic might never leak, but it is what it is. So you start looking at some of the edges. I'm like, huh, what's going on here? The bevel, the glass work is nice. It's beveled nice. I think some of the finish work is where the sump, you know, that, that finish quality, they, they missed a few things. So the way I've got this laid out, you'll see in the in the top is the return skimmer and then the refugium for all the macroalgae. Let's get to the tank. Yeah. Cha-ching, that's right. I think it was eleven fifty or twelve hundred bucks. It's forty-eight by 24 by 22 starfire glass i've got the holes drilled in it for the synergy reef overflow and then the return you know the return i went with an inch and a half return i wanted to move a lot of volume and i, I did notice by using inch and a half tubing i put a lot less strain on the pump but the one problem you have is getting into the tank you don't want when the power goes off something to swim back through the return so you got to put something on the end of it I'm fitting the Synergy Reef Overflow. This was one of the early models, so I had this way before the tank. This is the Shadow Overflow. It's nice. Build quality is nice. It went together. I was like, whoo! It's pretty happy here. And then... So I started looking at some of the corners and there's these gobs and goops in there. I'm like what what is this it's like it wasn't finished or it wasn't trimmed back after they put the silicone in there and then you can take a little piece of paper and you can stick it in there and it's it's like a little knob of silicone that should have been trimmed back they didn't finish it so needless to say I worked with the manufacturer here's the sump the sump there was two seams where they forgot to run the silicone back up Derek from Miracles, he worked with me, stepped me through it. I could have sent the tank back or repaired it myself. I chose to repair it myself. It actually came out pretty good. Um, no complaints. So there we go. I'm ready to fill this thing with water. Let's put some water in here, some coral in here. Let's get this thing going. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Thumbs down. I don't care. Make some comments. Share, like, subscribe. Do something. See ya.